I'm on my way to an old friend. His name is Klaus Göran, often called Juppa. He was a professional musician once upon a time, but now he works as an electrician. But he still has music as his main passion and main hobby, I think. And I will check out his uh, studio rehearsal room. He wanted some help with his new studio monitors and also some uh, mixing tips in his door. So I will go there and see if I can help him. Also, I have a problem being in my studio at the moment because they had some water leak in the area and they dig up a big hole to fix it, but it's not fixed yet. I hope they can fix it tomorrow. They hope so too. A book I read, someone said that you should hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. Now I have arrived to the village Svenstavik about 70 kilometers from my city and the evening sun makes it hard to see anything so let's see if I can find this place I should turn left here I found it. Hello. Världens corona fresa. We have that. Do you speak English? Uh, a little, but not so much. Not so much, but you have English in school, don't you? Yes. Yeah. How about a quick studio tour? Studio tour. Or a uh, music room this is, tour. This is rehearsal and studio. Yeah. Music room. Uh, we start with the PA. Yeah. Simple. RCF. Old. As hell. Uh, but. Uh, but you use that when you're rehearsing with uh, others or? With band. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I have two more subs and two bigger. Okay. And yeah. you have three bands. Yeah, I play in a couple of bands. Ah, cool. That's, there's a um, Rhodes Wreck. <laughs> a Fender Rhodes. It's, uh, it's my favorite instrument. Yeah. And uh, I bought that and the Leslie wreck there for three three thousand Swedish crowns. <laughs> three hundred euros for both yeah, of them. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Here, if my daughter moves a little bit, here I've got uh, the heart, both in the PA and the. Recording. Uh, so you use the bearing ear mixer as a sound card? Yes. I yeah, cool. It. Yeah, and good. It, it, it's not bad. No, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Uh, and uh, these two focal. Yeah, you like them? I love them. Yeah. I'm, and they seem to sound pretty good in this room also. I was worried when I came in here, you have a low roof and and not uh, yeah. so much damping in the room, but the, but, uh, the, the speaker sound this, sounds. This is uh, this, it's plaster. Ah, okay. And uh, it's irregular all, all over. So you get some kind of small yeah. diffusion. And here I diffused the corner, and yeah. if you look there, it's the same. Yeah. The, and of course the carpet and of course the carpet yes uh, on the stone floor. under there so that would be very bad <laughs> <laughs> no they sound they sound better much better than i expected them to sound but focal is focal focal is focal and then if we go here i have uh, some cases and uh, a bass guitar five yeah. string i I uh, switched my four string to a five string because I only play in studio and I needed the fifth string. Yeah. And uh, my Hogstrom guitar. Which I, which you put in my hands a minute ago and it, it, it was weighs, like... It weighs nothing. No, it was so light. 
and sounds good. And I've got my uh, other... Looks like a Bo Diddley guitar or something. Yeah, I built that when I worked as uh, in a metal shop, you can call it that. Uh, so is that that is all metal, except for the neck, but... The neck? It was an old Weston or something. Oh, so you, you stole a neck from another guitar? No, I stole the, the whole body. It's, it's... I cut it there and cut it there. You do this, you And then uh, I had... Uh, these are... Uh, beans that I cut and ah. thread them on this way. And I had some fun. It sounds decent. Yeah, cool. It's a Gretsch microphone. Really good microphone. It is yeah. good for blues. Same, same as uh, Malcolm Young had. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and then your keyboards. You have a um, yeah, Yamaha name? Moff, uh, Mo uh, Mox, Mox F. F, Mox F, it's called, and a an Hammond SK1 yeah. with the ventilator Leslie. Yes, and, uh, and a, a, a HX stomp for the guitar when I sometimes use in studio but mostly live when i don't want to carry much okay so you otherwise i have this baby yes. which i actually picked up from gothenburg when where it has been modified somehow very much modified it's uh, it's a this is um you can call it uh, 10 amps in one uh, he, because he did some preamp circuitry or something yeah. on it. it it's had, has a, he calls it mid shift. With, it's a different, you can say it's a different amp because the knobs work in different ways when it's in different. Uh, in different modes. Different modes. And, okay. And it totally changed the tonality of it. But is it a vintage Fender? No. No, it's, it's not, not. It's not now. No. It was. It, it was. was. A, it was a wreck. <laughs> okay. A total wreck. And it had been... Uh, someone tried to modify it, but he didn't know what he was doing. So ah. he destroyed it. And then you left it to this guy in Gothenburg. Yeah. Yeah, and that... he, he built what he wanted, it, wanted to build yeah. out of it. To get the most out of the... Yeah. And I... Uh, I'm... He did a very good job, I yeah. must say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now it looks like the bass drum and the snare drum com have the e have equal compression, doesn't it? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, maybe. Small things make big difference. Klaus Göran or Juppa, uh, as I know him, uh, he had uh, some trouble with the program drums that it, they sounded a little weak. So we tried a New York compression trick where we did a parallel compression on the drums and it seems to work. Yeah. <laughs> Production that Jupa have done is actually pretty good, really good. I don't have much to say about it at all. The only thing I pointed out was, was that maybe he could do a little more automation so that when the song lifts, he can raise some things and take out things before the lift so it's more noticeable, more dynamics. Otherwise, it sounds wonderful. Uh, cool, and and you have a small drum kit. Yeah, the cheapest form. I, I usually have 
when we rehearse, the drummers have to play on something. Yeah. I have no, even, I'm not even got a clue of how to play You don't drums. have interest, uh, the, no interest of playing drums yourself. Interest, I try, but I don't, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's not me. No, but you play guitar and keyboards very well, so. Um, I try. Yeah, a you bit. I think you do. As, uh, the and album. now I know that you can produce good also, because what I heard before was really, really nice. I think. You help her. I listen to you on your <laughs> your podcast. <laughs> I prefer playing in in bands. That's what I prefer. Yeah. You were a professional musician before. Yeah, many years ago. Yeah. Uh, but the interest has always been there. Yeah. And uh, the love of playing, you can, you can, you just can't quit. No. No, it's impossible. You can't quit. It's a, it's, it's not only the love of playing. It's sort of the way uh, the way of life yeah uh, that circles around music somehow that yeah you can't you can't get out no <laughs> is it like drugs is it it's a sect <laughs> <laughs> now you're working as an electrician don't you no 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 not electrician i was an electrician ah but now now i i'm a sort of an engineer consultant Electric, okay. Electrical consultant. Okay. And from I worked at, as on a little firm with my brother as chief. Yeah. For many years, and uh, my shoulders got hurt. Yes. It it uh, it uh, I couldn't sleep at night and above all he the, don't the biggest reason the, my fingers froze so I couldn't play. Oh, the, the, then then just quit it. Then then I w went to school at night uh, on distance and uh, read and read and read and then I got a new job where I write electrics. Oh, so you do the schematics, yeah. uh, the electric schematics for yeah. new buildings and yes. hospitals? Many hospitals. Many hospitals, yes. yeah, things like that. Uh, so do we have a Swedish word of today? Yes. This one I used very much, a little bigger one, in my last job. They're called avbitare in Swedish. Av, avbitare? Oh, cutters. Cutter in English, right? Hope I think so, yeah. Avbitare. Cool. This was nice. So now I'm packing. We forgot up. one, one very... We forgot the coffee. Ah, oh, we, we take coffee next time, or you can come to my studio and have coffee next time, okay? So my coffee didn't do. Yeah, it, it'll do. <laughs> I never turn down coffee, you know give that. Your cof give your coffee to mom! Yeah. yeah, she hates coffee. Thank you, and um, we talk soon, right? Yeah, Roger that. Yeah, Roger that. <laughs> Roger that.